All right, folks, welcome back to Bones Backyard Homestead. One week ago, I said these famous words. I'm giving myself one week to convert this laundry room into a laundry room slash bathroom. That's right. I gave myself one week to convert a damp, dark basement into a laundry room and a master bathroom sweet combination. Now, that was seven days ago. How far did I get? You're going to stay tuned to the end of the episode to see how far I actually made my goal and if I actually made it or not. So, let's get at it and let's get back to work. folks it is the evening of the seventh day and as you can see behind me that's a stud open wall I'm actually sitting where the bathtub is supposed to be and it's not here we knew today was gonna be the earliest that the tub could arrive and we aim for it so I think we got a lot done in seven days and if we would have had the tub here and if I would have been a little bit better at my uh, shopping lists we've been a lot further however this ain't a failure this is still a pretty dang good job for seven days so what have I got done in the seven days and what's still left to be done so let me give you a quick little tour before we wrap this video up all right, starting here in the laundry room. Still have not actually installed the actual pocket door. We cut the access for the pump for the tub, but we haven't built an access panel. The cabinet still needs to be painted. The dryer plug is actually completely wired into the box. The washer plug's completely wired in. That plug's working. That plug is working, obviously. You got the space heater going. Um, haven't done the door trim yet because I wanted to wait until I actually got the door installed so I knew exactly what was going on there. Same thing on this side. Have not done it over here. The tile is installed. However, it's not been grouted. So I kind of wanted to wait until I did had both. The washing machine, the both bathroom and laundry room ready to go. I'm still working on getting that cut out nice and clean. And then right here in this corner where I screwed up a little bit, I'll either feather everything out to match or I'll fill that in with some grout and call it good. As you can see, we got the platform built for the tub. And all the plumbing is in now. All the plumbing's been fixed. Um, I still do need to add in the hot water on this side. And I'll probably, as I'm in here, figuring out where the actual shower faucet will be at, I'll probably build a box right here. That way the lines come through and I have a nice mounting box to go there. Um, on this side, those are going to just be running to the faucet on that side. So I just need to, once I get the actual tub installed, there'll be a little bit of a lip around the edge. And that's where that faucet will go. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on that corner or put it into the middle over here. It just depends on where I have more room at. Still no toilet. The mold resistant drywall is up, just has not been mudded yet. Same thing on this side, and I have not put in the new window, and obviously have not done the drop ceiling. The old dryer vent is going to be where the exhaust fan is for the bathroom. That still needs to go in, and I'm kind of waiting to figure out 
the layout on the ceiling grid to do that, which obviously the ceiling grid is not done. Amongst all of that in here, none of the walls have tile on them either. So that is another thing that I'll be waiting on once I get the tub in, then I'll know where to go up with my hardy board and how much, if I just want to do the towers, the shower surround and tile or do the other three walls here completely tiled up. I, I think it'd look amazing because along with this Calcutta gold marble floor tile, um, I'm thinking about going about halfway up the wall with it and then a row of what they call like pebble marbles. Um, they're not like the shapes of pebbles, but they, um, they're just perfectly round. They're maybe, it's maybe like six inches, six inch row. And then go from up there, go subway tile, Cal Cal Calcutta gold marble from there up. I think that would just look amazing. It'd be a lot of marble, but it would really set this place off. Um, not sure if you could see it in the time lapse, but as I was putting this back wall in, I was putting some of that uh, pink, pink styrofoam insulation. It's only like an R5, but I had a couple of sheets of it, so I figured why not use it and put it in there. So yeah, that's where I'm at guys. Like I said, I don't consider this a failure by any means. I think I did a pretty good job for seven days. Um, I will keep these videos up and going because uh, I really don't think it's going to take much longer before I can wrap this project up. And I believe that you guys are holding me accountable to get it done quicker and correctly. That way I can show you guys what it looks like when it's all said and done. So thank you guys for watching and thank you for keeping me honest. Have a great night.